Hi folks, today we're going to talk about chainsaws. Any homestead that has any sort of trees needs a chainsaw. So why electric chainsaws? First of all, they're quiet. You'll see that these run in the 80 to 90 decibel range where the gas one at the end of the video runs over 100 decibels. Over 100 decibels means that if you ran that saw for more than 15 minutes in a day without earmuffs, you could suffer ear damage. Second of all, you can make electricity. It's hard to make gasoline. You can make ethanol, but that's another story. Um, thirdly, I don't like keeping that many little motors running, especially with alcohol fuel these days. Just cleaning carburetors, especially on stuff that you don't use that often. And I don't, I'll go through cycles where I use the saws a lot and then I don't use the saws for a while. Or I put them away for the winter or something. And I just don't, the less carburetors that I have to maintain, the better. The electric saws start every time. Put a charge battery on it, pull the trigger, it starts. There's no yanking the cord to try to get it and then it starts and then it stumbles and then you know the high jet works but the low doesn't and it stalls when you put it down. There's none of that stuff. They just work. So yeah, uh, especially on the smaller saws, I am a convert. I love having the electric saw around the mill. It's awesome for the way that I use a chainsaw around the mill for trimming ends, for bucking logs, for cutting up uh, any slab wood. It's just awesome. I love them for firewood too. Because I have a sawmill, I usually mill all the bigger wood. So all the, all our firewood is made from, you know, 10 inch and under wood. And uh, these saws all work great on that, that size wood. So in this video, I'm gonna look at three saws, a Makita 36 volt, a Still 36 volt, and an Ego 56 volt. I'll do a speed test and a sound level test for each saw, and then I'll talk about the features and benefits of each saw. At the end of the video, I'll do a head-to-head -head between a couple of the electric saws, and then as a bonus, I've added in a gas saw, a comparison to a still MS290. You'll see that the cordless electric saws have come a long way, and they're actually comparable to gas speed-wise in some situations. I also wanted to mention that in this video, all of these chains are sharp, and all of the batteries are straight off the charger on all these tests. This saw is the Makita XCU02. This is a 36 volt saw. They do it by using two 18 volt batteries, same batteries you would use on a Makita drill. These are five amp hours each. These Makita BL1850B batteries are listed at 90 watt hours. They do that by having 10 18650 cells. Makita normally uses Sony cells. The saw is listed as a 12 inch bar, but it's really about 10 and a half inches of usable. It takes a 3 8 low profile chain. I believe there's 46 drivers on this chain. Any decent saw shop, any local place can sharpen this chain. You can buy a Makita replacement chain or an Oregon or any other brand, low profile 3 8 will fit this saw. That chain will cost you 15 to $19, depending on where you buy it. This saw with the batteries, weighs in at 10.0 pounds. This is a top handle saw, which is different from the other saws that we'll look at today. You notice it balances right there. The overall length on this, I think is about 22 and a half inches. The bar, like I said, is 10 and a half inches. This saw, bare tool, no batteries, is $199. Nikita also sells this saw with the two batteries, the charger and a cordless angle grinder for 319. These batteries are the same batteries used on Makita power tools, so whether you have an angle grinder or a drill or a driver, it's all the same battery. So if you already have a Makita line of tools, this is a good saw to get because you can buy it as a bare tool, like I said, for 199. At 10 pounds, the saw is the lightest one that we 
our testing today. I have friends that use this saw as a pack saw for going in the woods and uh, cutting trails and stuff like that. Take the bar off, throw it in their pack. You do want to watch out. This particular saw tends to leak bar oil. So when you do remove the bar, put a little rubber strip or something in there to plug the hole where the oil would come out. This saw, as well as the other two we're looking at today, are toolless tensioning and bar removal. This saw has an electric and I believe it's also physical brake. An oil adjustment here for the amount of oil that oils your chain. It also has a ring, a little ring here, so it can be used as a climbing saw. It is the top handle design, so you could clip it on a lanyard. This saw is the Still MSA 200C. This is a 12 inch saw. The bar actually measures 12 inches. It's about 29 and a half inches overall for the whole saw. Again, toolless chain replacement, toolless tension. Again, it has a physical and electronic brake. An oil fill just like any other Still. But a battery goes in there. The battery we have here today is an AP300. The charger we have is an AL101. This AP300 battery is 36 volts at 6 amp hours. They're rating it at 227 watt hours total. That's compared to the 180 watt hours total on the Makita and the 280 watt hours total on the Ego. This saw is 11.8 pounds with the battery. Uh, is a rear handle saw. It balances little nose high with this bar hanging from the front handle. This saw takes a 14 inch chain. It's 72 drive lengths. This is still Pico chain, very small, quarter inch, 43 thousandths drivers. This is a proprietary chain. What I find is that a lot of places will not sharpen them. This chain is about $35 no matter where you buy it for this little chain. This saw as a bare tool $349. Still sells it with the battery and the charger separately. This battery is $190. The charger is about $60. So this saw as it sits here today is $600. This saw is the Ego CS1800. They sell this as an 18 inch saw. It's really got about 17 inches of usable bar. This saw overall is about 34 and a half inches long. It takes Ego's line of 56 volt batteries. If you buy it with the battery, it comes with a five amp hour, pretty hefty battery. So that's five amp hours at 56 volts, which makes this saw balance pretty neutral from the top handle. The chain on this saw is regular or Oregon bar and chain. This is a 3 8 low profile by 50 thousandths drivers. There's uh, 62 drivers on this chain. So this chain will cost you about $13, $14. This saw weighs 14.8 pounds with the 5 amp hour battery. If you have any other Ego tools, you can use the batteries from those. We happen to have a line trimmer. So we have a two and a half amp hour battery. So if I wanted to, I could swap out batteries and use the smaller one. It it uh, will balance a little a little bit nose heavy with the two and a half amp hour battery. You can use up to a 10 amp hour battery on this saw. 
The cool thing about the Ego is that with any of those batteries, all the way up to the 10 amp hour battery, you can buy a separate backpack and put the weight of the battery on your back so the saw becomes much lighter. These Ego batteries are also 18650 cell based batteries. They use Samsung and Sanyo cells. What we've got here is 28 cells wired in both series and parallel. The cells in what Ego calls their arc lithium batteries are arranged in an arc and they have venting. All the cells are individually wrapped in a phase change device. The idea being that it helps cool and maintain a consistent battery temperature throughout the cells. The saw has an oiler here, brake just like the others, toolless chain tensioning and adjustment. This removes the chain and tensions it all in one. There's not a separate chain adjustment. One thing that this saw has that's different than all the others is it actually has a light on it that you can use at two different brightnesses. This saw is sold as a bare tool. You can find it for about $250 as a bare tool. This saw is $349 with a 5 amp hour battery and a 210 watt charger. I'm shooting this in August of 2020 and it's just been announced that Lowe's is picking up the Ego line. Home Depot is dropping the Ego line and picking up somebody else's electric line. Um, so I believe going forward you're going to be able to get Ego at Lowe's and Ace Hardware. You can see that these two saws are pretty evenly matched for speed. The still has a much smaller chain and I suspect that it turns a little faster, but its power does seem to fade as you make multiple cuts. The Ego seems to have more torque from the start and its motor does not seem to fade at all. The still is a smaller saw, so it's not that surprising that you can stall it. The Ego definitely seems to have a more powerful motor, more torque. Um, it's You can't stall it. So as a comparison, this is an MS290. This is a gas saw. You notice it's quite loud, over 100 decibels. You'll also notice that it's not faster than the much smaller still electric saw, and that would make it about the same speed as the 18-inch Ego saw. This is a bone stock MS290. The muffler is intact. The MS290 weighs in at 17.4 pounds with a half tank of gas and a half tank of bar oil. So, which saw is right for you? It depends on what's important to you. If you want the lightest saw and you don't care about speed and you already own Makita tools, then the Makita saw is probably for you. I have friends that use that for trail work and uh, it works well for them. If you're a professional arborist and you already have still tools and you wanna get your tools all serviced at the same dealer and you maybe want the still pole saw or hedge trimmers or some other electric options, then maybe the still saws for you, but you're going to pay for it. All the still stuff is pretty expensive. For me, I bought the Ego. It started with their battery technology. I think their battery technology is more advanced than all the others. Their batteries, even while they're being stored, have a timer built in so that they will self-discharge after a certain number of days down to a prescribed amount so they keep their state of charge in the sweet spot that maximizes battery health for the lithium cells that they have in them. The other part of it was that the Ego tools, all the batteries fit all their tools. They're completely compatible across their line. So whether you're buying a chainsaw or a line trimmer or a lawnmower or a snowblower, they all use the same battery. And they make a couple of great lawnmowers. And my wife really wanted a lawnmower that she could start. She was having trouble starting the gas lawnmowers. With the Ego, she just puts the battery in push the button, pulls the thing and goes. Never, never a problem. We also purchased their self-feeding line trimmer. We both love the way that it self-loads the line. You don't have to take the head apart and wind the line around it and get it all coiled, fight with it and everything. You just stick it in, push the button, it winds itself. 
it's pretty awesome design. It takes 95,000's line and it seems almost as powerful, if not just as powerful, as the still gas FS86 line trimmer that I've had for years. I haven't even started the FS86 this year. And now that I've modified the Ego line trimmer to take a table saw blade for brush cutting, I'm not sure I'll ever use the still. I will probably sell the still and buy the Ego multi-head system so I can eventually get the pole saw and other attachments. The one thing about the Ego that I think is a negative is that it has a delay in start. When you pull the trigger, there's a little ramp up in the speed and it's just it's longer than the other two electric saws that we're looking at today. It's something they're doing in their speed control, probably to limit the amount of amps that inrush current on the saw. Um, I wish it was adjustable. I wish you could change that because it takes a little bit getting used to and it makes you cut a little bit differently. But once you get used to it, it's not so bad. But when you first pick up the saw, it's definitely uh, something that if you've sawed a lot, you, you notice. The cordless saws can be just as fast as gas. Obviously, they will not last as long as a gas saw will on a tank of gas. There's no comparison to the energy density in gasoline as there is to a lithium ion battery. But if you have multiple batteries, the batteries nowadays charge fast enough that it's really not an issue. I would highly recommend that you use the factory recommended style of chain. The chains on these saws, more so than on gas saws, really make a difference. I've seen some YouTube videos. There was one by a very popular YouTuber where he swapped out the chain on an electric DeWalt saw and he put in a skip tooth chain. And then he complained about the vibration on that saw. I think he's missing the point there. These electric saws have more torque than their two-stroke gas counterparts. So they can run chains with more teeth on them and they run smoother with those chains and they cut faster. So if you buy one of these electric saws, just use the style chain that's recommended for that saw. The other thing you'll notice about electric saws is, is the torque. They've got good torque right from the start. That is why the Kevlar chaps are not guaranteed with electric saws. The way that Kevlar chaps work on a gas saw is they peel off strings of Kevlar and they get uh, wound around the clutch and the sprocket and it stalls the saw because they don't have enough torque. The electric saws still have torque even at low RPM. So if you look at the warnings on the chaps, they'll protect you for sure, but they're not guaranteed against getting cut with an electric saw. Because if you put one on your leg and pulled the trigger and kept pushing, it could go through. So just be careful. Yes, definitely we'll still keep a couple of gas saws, but um, you know, maybe, maybe someday if I can get a bigger electric saw, maybe I won't. Um, I'm, I'm pretty uh, converted. I, I really do like them. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe, turn on notifications. And uh, if you'd like to see me review any other electric saws, I know there's DeWalt ones out there. I know there's Milwaukee as well. I think Greenworks and some other folks have them. So if you'd like to see me review any of the other ones, just comment below. Thanks. Mm -hmm.